Well, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So we're going to be cooking some steak, peppers, and onions and gravy on the stove, okay? All right, let's do it. Okay, I have the peppers and onions here. This is two onions, uh, medium size, and one pepper. Okay, one sweet pepper. I'm gonna put that in. Gonna put some uh, grapeseed oil on top of that, just a little. That's a total of about maybe eight tablespoons of grapeseed oil total. Okay, I'm gonna put some adobo on there. On the peppers and onions. Oh, my top is off. Again, this happened to me the other day. I don't know why that keeps coming off. Okay. Okay, let's mix that up. Okay, so I'm going to cover that and I'm going to let that cook down for about maybe three, three minutes. And then we're going to incorporate the steak, okay? All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to cover that. Give me three minutes. Okay, so our peppers and onions have been cooking for about three minutes with a top on. Now I'm just going to push the peppers and onions to one side of the frying pan like that. And now I'm going to add our steak, okay? The steak has Grandma Ray's special seasoning. So you're going to put your seasoning on your steak, alright? Because I'm still working on this before I give it out to the public. So you notice I have the steak separate on one side and the peppers and onions on the other side. Because... I don't want to mix them yet until the steak gets hot the way done. Okay, so I'm going to put the top on. I'm going to let that cook for about another, I'd say, three minutes. Okay? All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, so our steak have been cooking for three minutes along with the peppers and onions. Let's turn over everything. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to call it three-fourths the way done. I'm going to add the gravy. This is brown gravy. I should have showed you before I tore that off. I'm sorry. Brown gravy, okay? All right, so I'm going to add this package of brown gravy right over all of it. Then you're going to mix the gravy in before adding water. You can mix the onions in with the steak now. Okay, now that we've made a nice paste, now we're going to add the water. So I have a four ounce cup of water here. We're going to add half first and see what's happening. Okay, that's half. And let's see how that works. Mix that in.
Okay, all our water have evaporated, so we're going to add another one fourth. So we have one fourth left out of this one cup of water. Okay, I think we're good. So that was three-fourths cup of water that we added total. Okay, I have some rice and beans left over from the other night. I'm going to plate up the steak and peppers and onions onto the plate with the rice. And I'll be right back to show you that. Let me cut this off. We're done. Okay, one second. Ho, 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 ho. How could I say one second and I want to give you the word of the day. The word of the day is support your kids in every way. It's easy to be harsh or mean but it's nicer to bite your tongue when you want to say something that you may not should say because it might hurt their feelings and find more other words to say that will give them encouragement. I think that that will go a long way in the way that they look at themselves, the way they act, and how they want to show you a great improvement. Okay? So choose your words carefully. That's the word of the day. All right, let me play it up. Okay, guys. Here we go. How about that, huh? Looks pretty good, right? Wow, that took 10 minutes. And let me get in the picture. Wonderful. Huh? And I have it over some uh, rice and beans that I cooked the other night. So let me taste this. I'm going to get some uh, steak and rice and peppers. Oh, yeah, guys. Mm. Delicious. So remember. We cooked the peppers and onions for about three minutes and then I, I pushed that to one side of the frying pan and then I cooked the steak for another three minutes while the peppers and onions were still in the same frying pan and then I added the gravy and added three-fourths of a cup I added a package of gravy and then three-fourths of a cup of water and oh there we have it that took all of 10 minutes when it actually started cooking. 10 minutes. Okay? Alright. You gotta hit a thumbs up for that, right? Okay, share the video. Subscribe. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you. Hit that like button. Thanks. Bye-bye.